Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, and fellow open source proponent. Firstly, I regret that I couldn't be with you in person today in Brussels. It is an honor to address you today as we collectively mark the occasion of the 10th year anniversary of the Open Forum Europe or the EU Open Source Policy Summit. We all share a common belief that open source and digital public goods should transcend organizational boundaries and foster collaborative software development that benefits our communities. Open source has an important role in moving us closer to solving humanity's most urgent challenges and in supporting the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. As a global or international organization, we at the United Nations have been keen in promoting the institutionalization of open source both within and beyond organizational boundaries. The United Nations Office of Information and Communication Technology that I lead promotes a culture where open source can contribute to our digital transformation and to enable an effective role for open source we have established an ambition strategy based on three pillars first policy development second culture change and third technology all that to speed up the adoption of open source within the united nations and speaking of significant strides in open source initiatives, I'm delighted to announce the successful launch of the three editions of the Open Source Software for Development and Sustainable Development Goals. This was done in collaboration with the European Commission, DIGIT, and this partnership with the EC DIGIT aims to engage the broader open source community in developing innovative solutions using cutting edge technology to address challenges associated with sustainable development goals. The institutionalization of open source must not stop at organizational boundaries. And that's where open source program office comes in. Every organization, member states, or academic institution must be empowered with an open source program office to ensure that we together do not just perform in silos. Therefore, a global network of open source program office should be established to support, share, and cultivate open source strategies and policies within and outside organizations. As such, and as announced earlier by my friend and colleague Amandeep, the UN Envoy on Technology, the Open Source Program Office for Good Symposium is set to return in July the 9th, following a successful first edition last year. The event will convene a diverse range of stakeholders, including the United Nations, the NGOs, academia, and the private sector to explore the role of open source program offices in promoting social good. The objective is to establish collaborative networks to encourage collaboration and cooperation among open source communities and generate practical recommendations. The primary focus will be on leveraging interconnected open source program offices to tackle societal challenges and foster positive impact. So we hope to see you there. Being Mozambican, I'm often asked uh, by countries, or especially from the global south, on ways 
to explore their digital transformation programs. And my answer to them is very simple. I always tell governments to invest in open source, to invest in building open source national capacity and to create national open source communities. At today's event, I want to ask each one of you to seek ways to eliminate this wasted potential by advancing collaboration among all stakeholders and building novel cooperative infrastructure. In closing, I urge you to support the potential by fostering this collaboration. So let us commit to cross-collaboration to ensure that we, together, work towards a common goal and common agendas. To end, I want to thank you all for your passion, for your dedication, to open source. Thank you very much. Obrigado. Merci beaucoup. Santisana. Kanimambo. Merci. <laughs>